This video tutorial is an overview of the Radine Microwave License Search. Before we get started, I'll click the About Radine tab and give you a little background. Here at Radine, we've been helping companies in the wireless industry efficiently and effectively manage their wireless spectrum and licenses since 1994. Our services include microwave frequency coordination, FCC application filing and management, frequency protection, path survey and design, and AWS spectrum clearing. In working with our customers, we've noticed that it can be difficult for companies to track, visualize, and do reporting on their microwave licenses. It can also be hard to know what other licenses there are in a given geographic area using a given frequency or frequency range when you're trying to design and build out new paths. So we've created a powerful tool to help our customers find, visualize, and manage their own licenses, as well as seeing other licenses in the same space, and we've opened up that tool to be used for free. Returning to the home page, you can see in the statistics table below the image that the data comes from the FCC, and you can see when the current data being used was released by the FCC, as well as the type and quantity of licenses that are available to search on the site. If you click the green search link, you'll be taken to the search page. You can search by a number of criteria, including one or more call signs, the license status, radio service code, one or more FRNs, licensee contact information, frequency or frequency range, or within the radius from a given set of coordinates. So let's do a search. Say you want to see the details for seven call signs. You can add the call signs separated by commas or one per line and click search. In the search results, you can see the basic information about each path, such as status, path number, transmit and receive locations, and the frequency and polarization. You also have links to additional pages with details about this license, including an overview of the license, a map of the license, administrative details, locations and paths, and a link to view the license on the FCC website. You can also view the search results on a map, including the license status, which is indicated by the green, gray, or yellow markers. A legend for those is shown below the map. The map view will show the first 500 paths. To zoom in and out, you can use the plus and minus buttons in the upper left corner. You can also zoom in by holding down shift and dragging a box around the area you'd like to zoom into. This can be very useful for navigating around the map quickly. At any time, you can click zoom to show all results to be taken back to the initial view. In the upper right corner of the map are controls to switch between a street map view, satellite images, or a shaded relief terrain map. You can also download the search results as a Google Earth file, which will include the first 1,000 paths in the search results. So let's look at an individual license. You can either click the call sign in the call sign column, or click Overview in the Action column. In the upper right corner of any of these license pages is a link that will take you back to your last search results. The Overview page is the entire license at a glance. It gives you general license information, details about the licensee, the contact information, a list of the locations, paths, and frequencies used in this license, and a list of the radios and antennas used, with links to the paths they're used on. In the License section, there is a link to view the license on the FCC website. There are also links to view the locations and paths on the FCC website. The Map page works just like the map on the Search Results page, but shows you all the locations and paths within this license, with the locations color-coded by type, either Transmit, Receive, or Passive Repeater. Clicking on a location or path will give you an overview of the information for that location or path. Just like on the other map, you can hold down shift and drag a box to zoom in, or click zoom to show all paths to see the entire license again. There is a link that will take you directly to the map of this license on the FCC website. On the right side of the page is a list of all of the locations and paths. You can click the location number or path number to zoom directly to that location or path, or check and uncheck the box to show or hide that location or path. The satellite view can be very useful when zoomed into a location, allowing you to get a feel for the area, including the location of existing structures. The administration page gives an overview of administrative events or actions that have been taken by or filed with the FCC, including applications, a history of all actions, comments, and attachments. Next to each application file number is a link that will take you to the specific application on the FCC website and there is a link at the top of the page that will take you to the administration page for this license on the FCC website. 
The Locations page gives you details about each location used in this license. There is a link at the top of the page that will take you to the Locations page for this license on the FCC website. The Paths page gives you details about each path and frequency in this license. There is a link at the top of the page that will take you to the Paths page for this license on the FCC website, and for each path, there is a link that will take you to a page with more details about that individual path, including details about each frequency, emission, and modulation type. At the top of the page, there is a link to take you back to the list of all paths. That completes our overview of the Radine Microwave License Search. For further assistance managing your microwave licenses, please contact Radine by going to the About Radine tab and clicking Contact Radine, or by visiting us online at radine.com. Thank you.